Ayop and welcome to Callum's Corner. Welcome from future Callum. It's the end of the day and I'm recording this as an extra segment because it's a message for Louise Redknapp. Um, and you know, she probably won't watch this, but if she does, I know she's a busy woman and she won't want to sit through, you know, 10 minutes of me going out on the beers and stuff. Uh, spoilers, I'll go out on the beers. Um, yeah, uh, Louise, I saw, it's been announced today that you got divorced. Um, I just want to put it out there that ever since I saw you when I was about 13 years old and you released that song Naked and did a dance on top of the pops, I've had such a thing for you. You know, you've inspired many very special childhood moments. Um, and I'm just putting it out there that now you're single. I've been single for a while now. And, you know, I know you've got kids, so there's no pressure of a relationship. But if you want a kind of just a physical fling to get over Jamie um, kind of with... I'm the perfect guy for you. I'm literally the opposite to Jamie Redknapp. You know, he's a pretty boy. You know, you probably had to fight him for the mirror doing your makeup when you went out. I'm nothing like that. I'm 100%, you know, alpha male, just me. Take me or leave me. I am as you find me. Um, there'll be no wake up. There will be just me. Physicality, 100% Callum. It's there if you want it, a physical affair to just help you get over your divorce, to show you that, you know, Life's not over. You're not on the shelf. There is someone who would adore you, um, you know, in a very sensual manner. Make you feel 100% woman. Um, so, yeah, just uh, follow me on Twitter. I'll put my at in the description. So if you do want to get hold of me, you can follow me. You can DM me, you know, and that would be, it would be our secret. I'd never talk about it again. Okay, right, uh, you can get on with the vlog now. Louise, if you do want to, you know, I'm here. Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. Welcome to a vlog. A lot of you have been pulling me up the last couple of times I've uploaded saying I said that I wasn't just going to get angry and I was going to vlog my days. I thought it wasn't worth it because I haven't been going out an awful lot. But if that's what you guys want, that's what I will do. So, I've just got home. I went into town with my family to do a bit of Christmas shopping in the sales. Uh, I lasted about 20 minutes and I couldn't stand it anymore. There's a general air of depression about town. Um, kind of Christmas is over, it all looks a bit forlorn and sad. Everyone looks a bit kind of freaked out, they've got no money left. Uh, and also, Amy was really annoying me. We we're in a bloody clothes shop and she was just badgering this poor shop assistant about whether the bloody materials ethically sourced and stuff. He doesn't know. He's on bloody minimum wage. He's a student. Leave him alone. There's a look of kind of resigned panic in his eyes. Like, oh God, just leave me. I couldn't cope with it anymore. Um, and I couldn't cope with the debate about which cafe to eat at and all the bloody veganism that would come into it. So I've come home. Um, I need to get ready anyway. We've got Tim and the rest of the family coming over. So I'm going to do a bit of tidying up. Um, um, I've also managed to locate my clippers. Uh, my sister had put them up in the attic, which was ridiculous. So I've given myself a fresh trim, um, but I've left the beard on. I don't know whether that's going to be a permanent decision, but a lot of you have been saying I should go back to having a beard. So we're trying it on for size again at the moment. Right, I'm going to do some hoovering and stuff, and I'm going to make some lunch. I'm going to do some Christmas foods, and I'm going to review them for you. So yeah, there's some interesting stuff coming up. Okay, I am sitting at my desk now. It's quite nice to be able to do this, actually, with my sister and her kids staying there. It's been very difficult. Uh, this is a feature that I'm going to add to my vlogs from now on. It's where I'll go back to my previous video, and I'll just talk about a couple of the comments so I get to interact backwards and forwards with you. I don't often have time to reply to all the comments, so it's a nice way of having a little chat with you really um i've seen a comment already uh, but there's one here from daft the aspie uh i like that name and he says congratulations callum props and giving the kids decent presents i'm fine with vegans but militant vegans dot 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 and that's exactly how i feel daft um and yeah you've got to give the kids good presents you know i can't take out my hatred for my sister or my nieces um, plus, I'm going to slowly undermine her until they say me as uh, the most significant figure in their lives Siobhan Davis says this is the point of his channel, uh, it's his thoughts, it's his corner, thank you for getting that. Uh, there's quite a few people though saying that I should be doing vlogs rather than just two minute angry videos, which is fair enough, I have promised you that. So I'm doing it, you know, I've listened to you, we are doing that. Um, what else have we got? Apparently I'm going to look like a frozen condom, um, that is from Antonio Rodriguez. Unfortunately Antonio, you're unable to even spell condom, thus giving yourself away as a little kind of speckathon 12 year old geek. Uh, do one, you know, you can't call me a condom when you've never used one. Justina, this has uh, been a few people have commented this saying uh, Melody wasn't her name Meadow. Yeah, her name is Meadow. However, she revealed that that's not her real name, that it's her chosen name. I don't know, some kind of traveller, bloody 
vegan thing that they do. However, she won't tell us what her real name is. I've called her Melody because I feel like it's a proper kind of middle class name. It's actually what Tim's daughter is called. Um, so that's what I've been calling her, Melody, just as a wind up. Um, yeah. That's a story behind that. Her name is Meadow, though, but I prefer to call her Melody. It's just a passive-aggressive wind-up that I've been kind of working on. Some people said yesterday's uh, video was clickbait because I said she was a cheater. My sister was a cheater and you're expecting something about kind of sexual cheating. Uh, it wasn't meant as clickbait. I didn't stop and consider the thoughts of that, to be honest with you. Uh, I said she was a cheater because she was cheating and I thought you guys wouldn't get confused because, you know, I'm having nobody boom boom at all at the moment. So there's no chance of anyone cheating on me. But if it came across as clickbait, I do apologise. I do like my beard. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep this, you know. It's, it's a really is, you know, weighing it up because I think it looks, you know, quite rough, tough and rough. However, it really does itch my face and annoy it. So, you know, it's a game of two halves. What else have I got? Um... People have been saying, is it appropriate is it for Amy as a vegan to be playing Pop the Pig? Which is a good point. I don't think there's any real pigginess involved. I mean, look, I'll show you. It's not It's not um, actually a real pig. It's it's just a game where you have stuff things in its mouth. And I don't know. I'm, I mean, I'm surprised she didn't kick up a fuss, to be honest with you. She kicks up a fuss about every other bloody thing. But that's enough, I think, in the comment section. I'm getting a bit hungry now, so we'll go and eat some lunch. I'm sitting at my dining room table. Some of you will recognise the feathers in the background from my ASMR video. They're my mums. Um, just ignore them if you can. Right, one of the biggest parts of Christmas are the crackers and the cheese. So I'm going to do you my favourite little cracker uh, that I've been eating a lot. I'm having it for lunch now. Um, so with the crackers themselves, you want to go with Jacobs. Now, I know it's tempting to go for some of the posh crackers you see strewn around, you know, uh, Tesco's finest, all of this kind of stuff, Christmas special collection. However, they're just for Christmas. Do you know what I mean? Jacobs make crackers all bloody year round, you know. The others, they just do it for Christmas. They don't bother to do it all year round. So Jacobs have got the edge there, you know. If it's good enough, it's an all year round thing. It's not, well, it shouldn't just be for Christmas. It's like a dog. Um, so, Jacobs, Jacobs. I've buttered myself a little cracker. Uh, some people don't butter their crackers, um, and some people are mental. Um, and I'm placing little strips of cheddar cheese on it from the little cheese selection that I've got going on here. Um, I've been eating Wednesday Dale, but I feel like something a little bit sharper, so we're going with the cheddar. Now, in terms of the meats, I found this to be the best. It's a Tesco's Finest selection. Um, and out of the Tesco's Finest meats, I have found the chorizo strip to be an absolute pleasure. It does have uh, peppercorns in there, if you can see that. I mean, some people won't like that, and I happen to love it. Um, so one or two of those on top of the cracker, a generous layer of cheddar cheese and you just get stuck in. Now, I've taken a little bite there. Now, mm, God, it's lovely. I remember from the previous comments, it annoys some of you. I'll take a little bite. However, let me explain myself. There's a reason behind this. Oh, that's exquisite. It's only the first bite that I take that's so small. And it's just testing, you know, uh, kings and, you know, important people used to have food tasters to make sure I haven't gone off or been poisoned and stuff. I can't afford someone to taste all my food for me. However, I can take a tiny little bite just to make sure it's not being spoiled and not being tampered with by my sister. I've ascertained that it's safe and now I can just get stuck in. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Tesco's finest. A meat selection, good old Jacob. Mm. Uh, I think it's a Morrison's cheese selection, and um, well, just nice. It all washed down with a glass of white grape schlur, perfect Christmas snack. Yeah, I, I have been hoovering, I have been doing other stuff, but I keep gravitating back to my desk of football manager playing. Uh, it's an awesome game. I've been having this one game all over Christmas, the whole festive season, and we've just gone one all up against Leverkusen in the Champions League. But Blackburn team is awesome. However, I'm having proper kind of issues with Alan Bloody Pardew. I don't like the guy in real life, and he's just as annoying on this. He keeps giving it all these bloody verbals and stuff. We just beat his team in the last game. He's managing bloody Brighton now. They're in the Premiership. Uh, and he's just as annoying in this. He gives it all these bloody mind games, he thinks. Well, we smashed a 5 nil Pardew in your bloody face. Idiot. Okay, I'm... Uh, Alexa, stop it. 
Sorry about that, I forgot she was on. You've got to be firm with her, I found that works a lot better. So I am now back at my desk, I'm a bit gutted, we just had a 3-0 loss to City at the Etihad. Uh, first goal that we've even conceded this season, we conceded three of them. It's, it's, it's a hard pill to swallow. Um, and I'm wrapping now some Christmas presents for the rest of my buddy family. Uh, I don't like, I don't like having to wrap one for Tim. I don't like the fact that he's coming over here. Every single Christmas he gives me the same gift. A framed picture of him, his wife and his daughter. He's my bloody cousin. Why do I want a picture of him and his family? Do you know what I mean? It's just weird. It's a bloody F you, Callum. I've got a wife and I've got a kid. You know, it's just a gesture to annoy me. I know what it is. Um, yeah, so I'm a little bit bitter about that. Um, I have just spoken to Gav, though, and I believe this evening we are going to go out on the beer. I'm at Gav's. We're about to go out on the beers. However, there's been a slight disaster. I have left my memory card for my camera at home. Um, I'll try and get some footage on this. This is my tablet. However, you do look like a bit of a tablet twat trying to film with this in the pub. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. All right, tablet twat, we're on the Gloucester Road. Oh no, the bus is here, the bus is here. We don't even know where the pub is. We're going to the flyer, apparently. We'll see. Hey, up. Oh. Right, I am home. I'm gutted I didn't remember to take the bloody memory card for my camera out. I'm back home now, and obviously I've got it. Um, but I wanted to vlog properly. I quite enjoyed today just doing it in little bits and pieces. It would be nice to show you me out. My sister's really messing up the documentary. At least I could do his proper vlogs. Um, so... I'm going to get a vlogging camera, a little laptop, I'm going to go mobile, I'm going to do some vlogs. Maybe not everyday vlogs, maybe it'll be a couple of days into one, I don't know, it depends what happens, sometimes my life's boring. Uh, but I want to vlog, I want to vlog, um, I'm not saying I'm going to be the next Casey Neistat, they will be real vlogs, do you know what I mean? You know, a day in the life of Callum, none of these dab dab -adoos. Um, the night was decent, the night was decent, I drank some very strong scrumpy cider, they were pouring it from a barrel behind the bar rather than just out of a tap, it was impressive, although I got a bit paranoid that it was just a barman peeing in it at one point, it looked a lot like wee, uh, but it was definitely alcohol on reflection, very expensive actually, five quid a bloody pint, um, but yeah, the night was decent, we got quite wasted, um, Gav was on one, I met Dan, my old boss when I used to work in finance, he is in music now, we're going to get together he doesn't live far from me so there's going to be more music for you guys that'll be nice um what else is there to say uh women women i chatted to two women tonight um and i felt they both became disinterested when i told them what i did for a living um which is disappointing isn't it and i know you say oh, it's your ugliness Callum, but they were already talking to me you know and then when i told them what i did for a living they seemed to turn them off uh it's cash isn't it you know okay give it doesn't sound impressive maybe i should say i'm a youtuber um, but no, that's correctness, isn't it? You know, take me for what I am. Take me or bloody leave me. It's your choice. I'm not going to be anything else. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, let's call that an end to this vlog. It has been a good day. Yeah, it's been an exciting day. There's been a fair bit happening. Um, I've got a bloody coop for my family tomorrow. Loads of them coming over. So you never know. Maybe some vlogging then. Um, actually, there's something I want to record. I'm going to put it at the beginning of the vlog. Though, that future Callum. It's a message to Louise Redknapp. Um, and I know she's probably way out of my league, but she's divorced today. Um, I quite like to be the rebound fling that she has. You know, I'm almost the anti Jamie Redknapp. You know, he's a nice bloke, nice bloke. Don't get me wrong, uh, but he looks like he probably does his makeup before he leaves the house, doesn't he? Uh, pretty boy, pretty boy. Um, yes, this would be a disappointment, surely. Uh, but you don't know what he's packing, do you? Downstairs, you know, he might be packing nothing. Um, and you know, I'm not packing those, but I'm packing something. It might be an upgrade on Redknapp. Um, you know, maybe it's what she needs, a real kind of alpha male physical affair. Uh, so I'm going to put a little kind of message out to that effect at the beginning of the vlog. Right, thank you very much if you've made it this far. Um, I'll be back with you soon, I'm sure. Oh, I'm doing Wham! I'm doing Wham! Um, so let me know what you want included in my next Wham!